Lakers an opportunity this weekend to make sure some of the top medical minds around can continue the amazing work they do over at the UW Carbone Cancer Center. So last year's race for research raised $120,000 for the Cancer Center, all of it going towards saving lives right here in our community. It is coming up again this weekend. Joining us to talk a little bit more about it is the director of the UW Carbone Cancer Center, Dr. Howard Bailey and Dr. Christian Captini, who's a pediatric oncologist there. Thank you both so much for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Now this race, how important is this to what you do there? Well, from our standpoint, it's very important. Uh, the benefit and the support we get from the community is so important to us. and us making sure that the community knows what we're doing. Again, there's great health care throughout the community. And what we're trying to do in terms of trying to advance cancer care, cancer research, cancer education, um, this event really helps that in multiple ways. It's, it's uh, making sure everyone knows what we're doing, mm -hmm. where they can help out. And unfortunately, the fact that cancer touches so many of us, unfortunately, repetitively, oftentimes, that it's never uh, something that we take for granted of reaching out to the community and then the direct support this event gives us, as you'll hear from uh, Christian, it really directly benefits the research and the care that goes on for, unfortunately, the people in our community who get affected by cancer. I was going to say, in, in light of wanting to let people know where this money is going to and the awareness around the center, what, can you explain a little bit of your most recent work, Dr. Capitini? Yes, you know, for several years now, we've been interested in improving outcomes for children with leukemia. And very recently, we had a very big breakthrough uh, where a particular type of immunotherapy, which is using cells from our body to help fight cancer, was FDA approved on August 30th of this year. And this is a, basically given a new option for patients who have failed all of our standard therapies, half of whom have already had a bone marrow transplant. And it's support from venues like this that really allow us to do research on this very high risk, but potentially high reward research. And do you ever have moments where kind of you're at a race and people have come up to you and something's kind of resonated with you stories wise that you say, this is why I do what I do? Yeah, I mean, anytime we interact with, whether it's patients, their families, the community, um, it, it truly is an inspirational thing, whether it's for Christian or myself, uh, from a research standpoint, from a cancer care delivery standpoint. Um, you know, the, the, the strength and dignity that people show uh, just every day, um, it, it really is a constant reminder to us of what's kind of important and gets us up early to, uh, you know, go over things and to do the work that we do. Uh, again, there's so many people involved in it, and we really want the community to know that they're a critical part of it. They really, the successes of Christian's work, others' work, the community's really a part of that, and we want them to know that they really are a critical part to it and should take credit as well as Christian or others with the work that goes on. Well, thank you guys for the work you do. We want to make sure people know what's going on this weekend. This is Saturday, Race for Research. Registration starts at 8. The run walk, it's a 5K, starts at 9. I will be there emceeing the event. It's a fantastic event, lots of high energy. Bucky's there. Can't miss that, Can't right? Can't beat that. Yeah, a whole family's come, dogs, the whole the whole gang. So we're hoping for some good weather. And thank you guys again for coming in Thanks for and for you everything you do. No, and thank you for your involvement. It yeah. really helps us. Of thank course. you so thank much. You again. Of yeah. course. Thanks.